All right, so in this video, I want to give you a close look at our snap frames, but also show you a couple fun tricks that you can do with felt if you are working on some fun projects, very simple tips, um, but also some tips that aren't just made for projects. You can also use them on your cards or scrapbooking pages. So hopefully these tips are a lot of fun and inspire you to use them in your own creation. Okay, so here is a close look at a snap frame um, that I was actually creating uh, using one of our snap design kits. And I also pulled in our country accessory set, which of course you can use on a variety of different um, paper crafts projects. Um, and so I wanna use them on this project. And this, this one actually comes, this is where that cute little bee comes in there. Got a rooster, um, a flower that I actually used as layers behind here. Let me pull that up, oh, see, right there. So that fun flower texture, a little bit bigger. I love these little jars. And the jars also, just wanna point this out, have this little stencil so you can layer on top, um, add a little word or just keep it blank like that. This other milk can um, and then a tractor, which I did not actually use in this project. So that is the country accessory set um, that I used. Now, as far as the other little elements, I have some extra flowers from Tiny Charmed, some from the design kits that we have. So make sure to check those out. And of course, um, even this cute mason jar, this wood piece that comes in this. Now, before I adhere all of this down, I wanted to show you guys really quickly how easy it is to make these little felt centerpieces. Um, they're really, really easy. And then of course, even this fun um, different flower that is just made out of some circles. So I personally made this out of paper and this one out of felt, um, but you could do either one. You could make this out of paper and this out of felt in again, various, just depending on what project you're working on. So let me give you a close look at how that is done. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is just cut a strip out of felt. And um, depending on how big you want it or how long you want it, that's completely up to you. If you want it to be a little bit thicker, then you can do a wider strip. If you are doing a bigger circle, like you want it to be about this big, then you would of course go longer. So first off, you're going to just take your strip whatever size that you would like. And I'm just gonna add some hot glue and I'm gonna put it down on the one side. And then when you get done adding some adhesive, um, you're going to just fold this in half like so. so. I'm just gonna fold that in half and attach the two ends together. Okay, and then let me just quickly press that down. Then you're just gonna take your scissors and on the folded edge, so here on the folded edge, you're just going to make some clips, not all the way down, just about a fourth way down, um, like so. And you're just gonna clip it, um, the whole thing, just make clips. And they don't have to be exactly the same distance, um, just probably a little, about a fourth of an inch apart from each other. So you can just do as far as you want. And then it's really simple. Once I get all these clips done, we're just gonna roll this up and we'll have our really cute flower. Something you can use for bow ties. Um, if you're making hair, you know, hair bows or anything like that for any of your girls or daughters or granddaughters. Um, but also really fun on your projects and pages as well. And you can do this out of paper as well. So then we're just gonna start rolling that up. So I always like to start the first part really good and snug. And then you don't have to add um, hot glue all the way down, but just a good portion. So you're just gonna kind of roll it before that dries. And again, it depends on how big you want this to be is how long you're gonna put that strip right? And then when I get to the edge, I always make sure I have it just a good amount of glue right there on the end. And again, just pull that tight and wrap it around. 
and that's it. And there you go. And then I just like to fluff mine back a little bit, kind of push that down and fluff it back. Okay, so for this next flower I want to show you, it's really simple. Basically, we're just going to take um, a couple different circles. And so for this size, I used a one and one eighth punch. But if you want a bigger one, so like this one's a bigger one, you can use a bigger circle. So you can see same flower here and here. This one's done out of felt. These are done out of paper. Um, so it just, again, depends on what project you're working on. Um, but it's really simple. So basically what I did is I went ahead and punched five circles out, right? And then the next step would be to just cut into them about halfway. So you can see how I did that, right? So I did that with every single one of them. And then we're going to add some adhesive just here at the bottom. So this could be a glue dot or hot glue, whatever you want. And then you're gonna just pull that over and glue those together. So I already did these ones. So these are all bent over and glued. And then at this point, we're just going to adhere all of these together. And then that can make your little flower petal. Um, also, I wanted to point out that if it's kind of hard for you to glue those together, then one thing I would recommend is you could cut a circle base. So I would just cut a circle base maybe. And this doesn't have to be a perfect circle, but this just gives you something to glue these on top of. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my first petal and then I can add it to the circle. The next one, same thing. And that just helps just a little bit with um, gluing them all together. And if you want a fuller flower, you can absolutely do more petals. If you want it to be a little bit thicker. Um, so that's another little tip. I didn't do that with this one, but if you, it's something I wanted to point out. And then of course you can add your little center Add that right in. And you have a really adorable, adorable flower, like so. And again, it just carefully kind of bend those back. Um, now, granted, if it crumbles a little, personally, I think that's okay. Super cute. Add a little leaf and they're super fun. Hopefully these two techniques on how to make both of these flowers has inspired you. Whether you use these and try them out on your scrapbooking page, cards, DIY projects, they're very simple and a lot of fun. So I'm excited to see what you create using either one of these um, simple techniques. And of course, I'm really excited and happy um, with how my snap frame turned out. It's really, really cute. Um, I think actually, personally, I'm going to be giving this one to my mother-in-law as a gift. They make really great gifts, um, but they're also just really fun to add that creative personal expression to your homes, whether you display it on your mantle or your entryway, um, however you choose to, to use this. They're a lot of fun, so really, really cute. So if you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Um, you can join us in our community at KiwiLane.com. And any one of us from Kiwi Lane, any of our creative partners are here to help you guys out to continue to inspire you to live a more playful, creative, and connected life. Thanks for watching.